KK friends, welcome to day four of our virtual learning together. Today, your sign in color is yellow. Go grab a yellow marker, a yellow colored pencil, or a regular pencil and sign in your sign in book on line four. Okay, pause the video and go do that first. Great, now you're all signed in and ready for your day. Today, we are going to rainbow write some of our sight words. So here's what you need to gather for this. You need to go gather that turquoise blue sheet that Miss Jessica gave you with a bunch of sight words on it. You also need a plain piece of paper. It could be copy paper, it could be a white piece of construction paper out of your art supplies, okay? And you also need lots and lots of colors of markers. If you don't have markers, you could use crayons or colored pencils, but we need a lot to do rainbow writing. Are you ready? Go get those three supplies. Your turquoise sheet that has your sight words on it, a plain piece of paper, and lots of colors. Oops, and you also need a pencil. Okay, go get those four things. All right, and then meet me right back here. Next, I'm going to teach you how to fold your paper so that you have six separate boxes. You may need mommy and daddy's help for this. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Okay, friends, I'm gonna show you how to do the folding um, with a piece of yellow paper, but when I teach you the writing part, I will use a plain white piece of paper. I'm using yellow because it's kind of hard to see my white paper on my white table, and I want you to be able to follow along with the um, folding instructions, okay? You may need mom or dad's help for this. Here we go. First, I'm gonna hold my paper like a door, okay? Then I'm gonna fold it over in half like a taco shell, right? Nom, 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 nom. Now this part is tricky. Watch me do it first, then pause the video and ask mom or dad for help. I'm gonna fold up this part to the middle and this part down. Did you see that? Let's do that part again. I'm gonna fold up this part to the middle and this part down. Then when you open it up, you have six sections of your paper. You have this rectangle, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, pause the video, go get mom or dad to help you fold your paper into six sections. Do that now. Okay, friends, do you have your folded piece of paper? I've got mine ready to go. Now, I'm going to look at my sight word list. And I'm going to pick out one, two, three, four, five, six words that I use a lot in my writing. So the first word I'd like to practice is the word the. So using my pencil first, I'm gonna write T-H-E, the, in the first box. Now I'm going to pick five more words that I use a lot in my writing and I really need to practice them. So I'm gonna speed up the video and you can watch me write them really fast. Okay friends, did you see me write all of those words? So Miss Jessica is gonna practice the words the and is to my and we, all right? Now for the fun part. You need to write each word with three colors, kind of like a rainbow. We start with the lightest color, then a little bit darker, and then the, the darkest color last on each word. So you're going to write each word three times because you're using three colors on each of those sight words. Are you ready? I'm gonna speed up that video. Okay, friends, did you write each one of those sight words three times with three different colors? If you did, 
Thumbs up for you. Good job today. Now I need to speak with mommy and daddy, okay? So why is it so important to teach the kids sight words, right? Aren't we just now teaching them how to sound out words? Yes, but sight words make up over 80% of what we actually read. So we know when we're teaching children to read that we have to do a combined approach. Yes, we have to teach them to sound out words, but we also have them just memorize those sight words that they use in 80% of what they read. Plus, oftentimes those sight words, you can't sound them out. They defy the rules of the English language, right? So we just have them memorize those sight words. And this is a fun way to do that. Parents, if you would like to extend that learning time today, you may take that sheet that they just rainbow did the rainbow writing on and a cookie sheet. Sorry, that glare. <laughs> I'm right in front of a window, you all. And their magnetic letters. And then you can go over each one of those words with the magnetic letters. Does that make sense? If that's not enough and you want your kids to do more, you can go back to yesterday's lesson and have them finish adding details, color in their um, writing piece. And if they finish, I would love to see pictures of it. All right, you all. Thanks. That was a wonderful day number four. And I will see you tomorrow for learning day five. All right. Bye-bye.